We're good with it. Today, man, I want to show y'all my top Jordan pickups for 2021. This isn't in any particular order, honestly, until I probably get to like the five, like the top five. So I'm just giving you my top 10 pickups for me personally this year. It's not a bunch of hype stuff. It's just the stuff that I like and the stuff that I want to or I've already worn, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. All right, man, so to jump it off, man, my first pair. My first pair is the Jordan 5 Orange Blaze. Well, yeah, man, these right here. Uh, as you see, I have already duck walked in them. The pictures on Instagram, I actually wore these for my little brother's birthday weekend. That was uh, around like Thanksgiving. I, you know what I'm saying? I had a smooth little fit, so y'all go, y'all can go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Cadet underscore B7. You feel me? But yeah, man, I love how these are. Like the just the tones of them, the orange with that cell. You know what I'm saying? The little off white type of uh, leather to them. I like that they are all pretty much all leather. You know what I'm saying? Then even like this little different meshy part or whatever. That's cool to me. I really want some orange laces. But uh, I haven't, I, I haven't bought any yet. But uh, I will be throwing some orange laces in these. I just couldn't wait to wear them. Uh, I had, I think I got these. I don't even remember what I got them like October or something like that. So yeah, man, the orange blaze guys. You know, yeah. On to the next one. Okay, so for the next pair, we gonna kick it off. We got a ah, a joy one. I'm not the biggest fan of the Jordan 1, but I do like them. I for sure like them. But, uh, bam! You feel me? You hear me? Man, the uh, Shadow 2.0s, I really like this shoe. It's nice and subtle, and it just can go with a whole lot. As y'all see, I haven't worn them yet. <laughs> but I haven't gotten a chance to wear them just yet. Uh, I was gonna wear them on one of my vacations that I went to. What, what it was like? I forgot when I went on vacation. I went on a few on this year, but I was gonna wear them. But I ended up changing my mind because the fit that I wanted to wear them with, I couldn't complete the whole fit. So I was like, if, if I'm gonna wear them, I want to do it exactly how I want to do it. So I ended up not going with these on that vacation. But these will be broke out. Soon, man. I, I I think soon. Um, the the resale prices gonna start going crazy on it. Well, not crazy, but like. Mm. But so I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm be have, have to be careful with these because it ain't like I, I I'm willing to just buy another pair if I jack these up or you know be painting in them or something like some stupid like I always do. So I'm gonna be careful with these, man, because I'm not gonna be playing no three fifty or nothing like that for another pair and they only gonna go up more so man the shadow 2.0s i really like these man smooth shoe can match with a whole lot if you're gonna spend that bread i would say spend it on something like this the way you can wear it a whole lot you know what i'm saying on to the next one it was a pair i had my eye on like when but like when when it pictures and stuff started circulating the youtubers was talking about it and stuff like that i had my eye on them and they were extremely easy to get i just walked in the store after a sneaker event and just copped them so that's the way i like it to be man i don't want to have to jump through hoops all kinds of obstacle courses just to get a pair of shoes just to buy a pair of shoes that I really don't want to spend that much money on anyway. You know what I'm saying? But for the next pair is boom, knee, oh, oh, we a little bright. We a little bright. Hold on. Yes, sir. There we go. Uh, what they call the knees? The uh, Jordan 13 Obsidian or whatever. Got the UNC vibes to it, man. My favorite part of the shoe is the bottoms. Look at that. Hold on, let me turn y'all back up a little bit. I love the bottom of these, man. They hard. It's hard. Even though it's like, you gonna be walking on that. But it's still, you know what I'm saying? I haven't gotten a chance to wear these yet. Of course, y'all know how I am, man. When when I when I cop a shoe, bro, it, like the first time I wear it, it's just special to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, the first time I wear that guy, 
it need to be like super drippy. You feel me? So I definitely um I, I had some plans for this. I tried to cop a Tennessee Titan Letterman, but um I don't know why. I, I did oh I know why. Cause that day I had spent a whole lot of money and I wasn't trying to spend even more money. So I ended up passing on that jacket. And then my boy ended up copying it. So maybe I might steal it from him. You feel me? Tell my brother, man. But uh, yeah, man, I really like how these are, man. Uh, they, they look like they're going to be easy to wear. Super easy to wear. You know what I'm saying? But I still need my fit to go by y'all when I, when I go on to step out in these guys. You know what I'm saying? So Jordan 13 Obsidians. These I actually got for under retail. You know, yeah. Say that chicken, you feel me? If you make that chicken, you better say that chicken. You feel me? I got them from under retail. I went to finish line. You know how finish line, when you spend so much money or whatever with the points and all that kind of stuff, you get all kinds of perks that you can use your points with. So I chose to use my a few of my points on a $20 off coupon and they let me use it on retro. So don't let nobody tell you that you can't do that because that is a lie. I talked to managers and all this kind of stuff with Finish Line and they said, yes, you can use that on retros. And I've done it multiple times. So don't let nobody lie to you, man. And uh, save that money. So I ended up getting these for around like 180, like flat, like 180 something, I forgot. I think it was like 181 or something like that. But yeah, man, a great shoe, comfortable. I love 13s, they're super comfortable. Let's go to the next one. Now for this next shoe, it's probably my most worn shoe. Well, mm, I don't know. It's between these two. Um, probably this one and my black and white Jordan One Lows. I wore. I, I don't wore these, man. Dang it, every day. Not it. I ain't gonna lie. I be wearing these a lot. I mean, I don't have. I got quite a few shoes, so not every day they might be kept. But boom, y'all can see the wear and tear on these guys, man. I'm trying to tell you, hey, I love them. I, when I saw these, I was like, y'all gotta get them. Cause if you don't know, y'all probably don't know. The school, like the high school I graduated from, these are like, these are our exact colors. You know what I'm saying, Kirby, you feel me? If you from the M, you know what's going on. But yeah, man, I love, I love how these look, man. I love that they were leather, you know what I'm saying? I can wear them and then if I beat them up a little bit, I can just clean them. And they're gonna look back new. I love how these are, man. So that's why I've been wearing them so much. You know, they go with a lot. It's just subtle, dark blue. You know what I'm saying? With the gray. I love the, the way that elephant print pops off of these. Cause you know, when you had that dark, uh, a dark upper like that, man, that elephant print really pop off of it. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like they did a different kind of gray with this one too. I think it's like a lighter gray than the normal elephant prints they do you know what i'm saying then they had to look i like how they took a little bit of that bbl up <laughs> up at the tongue you know what i'm saying you know how older uh, jordan not older but like you know past years with jordan threes the the tongue be fat as i don't know what you know what i'm saying so i like that they they, they slim that guy out a little bit you know what i'm saying that's how you know i wear y'all see the stick in each other man oh uh, now yeah you can see the stick yeah, man, this stick is gone, basically. So, yeah, man, the Jordan 3, George Towns, probably my second most worn shoe, you know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all want me to start showing y'all when I cop these shoes, like when I go pick them up and, and when I get them home and, you know, little reviews and what I think of them and stuff like that, y'all let me know, man. I definitely do that because, I, like I told y'all, I don't just customize shoes. I like to buy shoes. Um, I like to dress and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like to get drippy and all that kind of stuff. I'm really into fashion. So, if y'all want to see more of that kind of stuff, let me know. I'm probably going to do it anyway because this is my channel and you here for me. You feel me? <laughs> Respect, but to the next one. All right, man. If y'all know me, you know what fa my favorite color is. Y'all, you don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it. My favorite color is pink. So when I saw these right here pop up on the little Nike app, and they say, coming soon, I said, bet. I'm copping soon. You feel me? So, and then they low top. I love low top shoes, especially like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know my favorite shoe is the Air Force One. But bam. Hold on, let me turn y'all down. See them, y'all see them. 
You know what I'm saying? Nice Easter vibes. I think that's exactly when I cop these around, you know, springish and stuff like that. I am a spring baby. I was born in March, so you know that <laughs> my favorite season, you hear me? But yeah, man, when I saw these, I was like, oh my goodness, that big pressure. Oh. But yeah, man, I had to get these. I had to. I was debating on swapping the laces out for some pink joints, but I, I kept the whites in there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the next time I wear them, I might uh, break them out. But go ahead and throw the pink guys in there. Or maybe even some lavender laces. I don't know. Y'all let me know what laces y'all go with. If y'all keep these in there or whatever color y'all think I should go with on these. I wore these a few times, actually. Maybe like three times. Um, the, the thing I hate about like Jordan 1 lows and stuff like that, you know, not the OGs. That like the creasing, it be kind of ugly, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good though. I don't really care about you know creasing my shoes and all that different kinds of stuff because I'm gonna wear them, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really that big of a deal to me, but I just like for them to crease like in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Like a good form, but these kind of creased a little ugly, but it's all good. When I put my foot in them joints, uh, most of that goes away. But man, I, uh, I actually wore these on one of my vacations. And uh oh oh I got oh I gotta fit off on them guys. Of course you know I ain't take no picture. Y'all know I don't post on Instagram. I don't take pictures and all that kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna do better this year. I promise y'all hold me to it. You know what I'm saying? If y'all watch this video, definitely make sure, you know what I'm saying? Even if y'all gotta remind me sometimes in my other videos, be like, hey cadet, we ain't seen you dripping on Instagram in quite some time. What up? You know, yeah, but y'all yeah, definitely hold me to that, man. I'm gonna do better with posting, period. You know what I'm saying? This this coming up year, this uh, in 2022. God, lead us a lot to say. 2022. <laughs> and yeah, this 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 year, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna post more on YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and go into social media stuff with full force and give it my all and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? But Jordan One, I think these look low. I think they were called an Easter. I think it was a. I caught a couple of Easter's. I ain't gonna lie, I caught like three of them. You know, I love bright colors and all that. But on to the next pair. See now, now we didn't got into that top five. So this is actually, this is actually in order. All right, this this top five is in order for the Jordans that I caught this year. I caught other shoes, but you know what I'm saying for my Jordan cops. This, this is my top five. I'll start off the top five. Y'all know, like I told you, I'm not into, uh, I mean, some of that hype stuff is cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It be fresh or what, uh, whatnot, but I, I'm into shoes so I can wear them and look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not into like a lot of the, the history stuff unless it's like nostalgia for me. You know what I'm saying? Like with Kobe's and stuff like that, but I can't, I, I, I can't justify spending five, six hundred dollars on one, one pair of shoes right now you know what i'm saying them youtube chicks ain't hitting like that yet so nah but i can't justify that but bam here we go unc jordan one lows i love these man i love this shoe they hard like the way the colors are the way they hit you know what i'm saying like like how subtle they are but they still pop hard like when because like i've seen uh, i haven't worn these yet i'm sorry i told y'all man i ain't been going nowhere to break my shoes out so it's like ah you feel me but i've seen other people wearing theirs and i really like how they pop on foot man um uh, definitely some you can wear in the spring but i wear my stuff all year round it, i don't care what the colors i like or anything like that uh, I was thinking a lace swap on these too, honestly, but I don't know. I, I kind of like the blue ones though, to be honest, which and I was thinking maybe I should go with a powder blue or like a lighter powder blue. So y'all let me know on this one too. I think the last time somebody was uh, told me throw the pink laces in here when I wear them. So I don't know. I might do the pink. The pink might go stupid on these. And then this is another shoe that like went crazy in price. I went to the, uh, I think I got these from Foot Locker for like a hundred, a 108 or something like that after tax. But 
you know what I'm saying? I like to keep up because I told y'all once before the reason, the one of the reasons why I like to buy shoes, you know what I'm saying, is because they like mini investments, you feel me? So it's a way to park my money and stuff like that. You know, when you got a little extra, you spend it on the shoe, it, even if, if you know you're not gonna wear it at that moment, you can just see what it does, you know what I'm saying? See if it appreciates, and these definitely have appreciated. So I looked up, uh, up uh, oh my goodness, I looked them up a couple of days ago, and they like going for like 240, 250 or something like that. And I'm like, dang, my boy, fire. You feel me? I love that shoe. That mean that means I can wear these shoes and still make money off of them. That's fire. Well, like what other? What can you? Uh, hey, that's fire, man. <laughs> That is awesome. Being able to do what you want to do and whatever, because I take care of my shoes. You know what I'm saying? I had my shoes for years and years and years. So that's why my collection ha had grown. I sold a lot of my stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? Trying to invest in YouTube and stuff like that. But that's how you, you keep up with your shoes, man, and you could potentially make money off of them. So UNC low, guys. I haven't worn them, but I plan on it. But if the price get too high, I'm going to sell them for the chicken. I need that chicken. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get another camera. I'm trying to get another computer. I'm trying to go hard with the YouTube thing. So these shoes mean nothing to me. All right, man. So for this next pair, I guess this number four. You know what I'm saying? This number four, man. And uh, when I saw the pictures of these, and I, they were saying they was going to come out or whatnot, I wanted them bad, man. I wanted them bad, <laughs> but I could. I didn't. I ended up not hitting on them. But like weeks, I'm talking maybe even a month later. I just I was out trying to find some shoes for orders and stuff like that. Y'all know how scarce Air Force Ones are in stores. Normally I order mine off of Nike or, or whatever I can hit my plugs up and stuff like that. But I couldn't find them. I needed it, it, them for an emergency uh, custom. So. I was looking around and then I stumbled across these for retail and these have gone man I'm scared to wear I don't even want to wear them no more man because they don't went so crazy in price but what they call these reverse boom man there we go here we go don't worry about it I, I'm gonna talk throughout it you know what I'm saying but the reverse there we go that, that can uh, that's too bright still but the reverse Oreos I think that's what they call them. Man, I love these just, bro. If they weren't so crazy in price, I would have been duck walked in these guys. But, like, bro, this shoe is like $500 now. And I pay retail. You know, never resell. Until that, them chicken, the, 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 the YouTube checks get to hit. And then your boy gonna, like, I might cop a little resale shoes every now and then. Look, some Kobe's or something like that. But man, yeah, I paid 208 after tax. Now these shoes are going for like $500 or a little bit more, at least in my size, which is a size 10. So if y'all ever want to send me some joys and friends, hold on, let me, let me turn y'all back up real quick. quick. If y'all ever want to just send me some joys and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Side 10, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Side nine and a half, side 10, it, it, it don't even matter. It do matter, you know what I'm saying? Side 10, I, I, I. I like the tens because it's like a little extra room for me, you know what I'm saying? To to work with look com for comfort reasons, you know what I'm saying? And then I just noticed they been better when I have size tens and stuff like that. So that's really what I, why I wear them because I can do a nine and a half or a ten, but I prefer tens. Feel me? That's just a little something about me. Look, 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 cadet uh, insight. You feel me? But yeah, man, I love these guys. But I'm probably gonna get rid of these guys. <laughs> Sooner or later, I'ma just let them. I'ma let them sit, man, and see what happens. Cause it's like every month they go up. So, like I said, I'm scared to wear them now. Um, I'm sorry. Normally, I'm the guy who's like, man, wear your shoes and all that kind of stuff. But once they get up in price to wear, like, like this is the cost of a camera. You know what I'm saying? This is the cost of a a great lens. This can be a computer right here. So, you know, you have to have your priorities 
in order and put things into perspective, you know what I'm saying, for you financially and see what can be the best move possible for you. And then again, like I keep on saying, this is a good way to park your money and let it appreciate. You know, push, push come to shove, if I need to take care of expenses, I can always just like, I'm gonna sell my shoes. Bam, I got this amount, you know what I mean? So, y'all definitely be smart with y'all money. This isn't a video to flex or to show how great I am, um, none of that lame mess. I'm just showing y'all, you know, what I like. I like shoes and everything, so I'm gonna share that with y'all, you feel me? But definitely still be smart with your money, you know what I'm saying? If you have questions for me on how I do it, I got you, man. I'll answer them, I'll even make a video if you need me to. But on to the third pair, you feel me? All right, man, on to the third pair. And some of y'all, this might be y'all first pair, you feel me? It might be y'all number one pickup or whatever for the year, but it's just uh, other shoes. I like other shoes uh, more than these. But here we go, and I got a story for these two, so y'all finna hit me talk some more. That's cool, because I know y'all came here for me, man. We, we we fam, you know what I'm saying? We squad, you feel me? But bam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Jordan 11 cool grades, man. Boy, when I say God looked out for me on this one. God and my boy, my boy Ad, man. They looked out for me on this one, man. Now, let me tell y'all the story. I right, I'ma still keep showing the shoe as I, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, all right. I, I entered in a raffle while I was in Nashville, right? So I ended up getting a call and it was like, hey, you won, so you can pick your pair up Saturday. Meanwhile, I forgot that I had to be in Memphis on Saturday. You feel me? Because I had the sneaker event on that Saturday, right? So it was no way I could pick them up. So I, I, I asked them, you know what I'm saying, when they called me, I like, can my dog pick them up for me? You know what I'm saying? Can I just show my ID and be like, hey, you know, this my this my boy, this my brother. You know what I'm saying? He can pick them up for me. They were like, no, you can't do that. Uh, it has to be you. You got to show your ID. You got to walk in or with your little ticket or whatever. So I'm like, dang, bro. I wanted these shoes since they said they was releasing. Even though, you know what I'm saying, they didn't release the exact way I wanted them to, but I, I wanted to shoot. So, what ended up happening is my dog looked out for me, God looked out for me. The next day, he was, uh, my, I called my boy, my, oh my goodness, I'm rambling, but I, right, I'm tired of showing the shoe. But yeah, man, um, I called my dog, we was talking and stuff like that, and he was like, man, what I can do, shoe, because he he trying to he trying to flip them. He don't really care about shoes like that and all that kind of stuff. So he was just trying to flip and he was like, bro, I'm trying to go get some other pairs uh on Sunday when they open up after church. I'ma go and go up there. So he went up there and he got two more pairs. He actually got my pair, which is this pair right here. He got my pair because they had my name on the shot. They had just took my name off of it. And they, you know what I'm saying, were available for sale or whatnot. So he got them just for me. Not, I mean, he got them, but I still paid for them. I went on and sent that little bread through. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is probably the most I've spent on a shoe. Yeah, this is the most I've ever spent on a shoe, which is two, like 250 after the taxes and stuff, that was like 250 At least that's what I, you know what I'm saying? That's what I gave my dog, you feel me? But uh, I, I was ha I'm happy to get these, man. Happy to have these in the collection. I only have maybe like two or three Jordan 11s, you know? So I'm happy to add these to the collection. I wish they would've came out like how they came out in, what was it, 2011 with the lower patent leather. I ain't really a big fan of this high cut patent leather. I know that was like that's the that's the OG form. That's how Michael Jordan jumps were. No, they no they wasn't. They was not this high, bro. No, it wasn't. That's cow. These folk need to stop all that, man. They need to lower that guy back down. But it's all good. I ain't gonna complain, bro. I, I, I ain't gonna complain, but I'm gonna complain because I paid two fifty. You know what I mean? But on to the next one, bro. All right. So now earlier, what was it? Last year or something like that. I caught wind that one of my favorite Jordans ever was re-releasing. Come to find out this year when it when it actually released, it was 
basically the same, but it wasn't the same. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Them taxis, man. Them Jordan 12 taxis. They were supposed to release. But they made them in a different form. The royalty form. Honestly, I would have wanted them to be the complete taxi form, but because I love the taxi so much, I was like, I'm just going to take what I can get, you feel me? And like uh, a lot of people are saying on YouTube and stuff like that, they are like a DMP version of the taxi. So I ain't complaining, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining at all. And you know me, if I'm going to do it, you know what I'm saying? I'ma do it. I ain't with all that other stuff like those black laces. Trash, bruh. Trash. But I was glad y'all gave me the option. Bam. Now they kind of look like them Chinese New Year joints, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But um, now nah, I, I I like these, bruh. Cause I love the Texas. The Texas are probably I ain't no product. They my favorite twills. One of my probably top five favorite Jordans to release like of all time so i had to get these bro and this is another one i caught you know what i'm saying off the uh filling out a raffle and i got that call i was so excited to get these chance man i really wanted to get my little brother a pair but uh at the moment i couldn't do it spending, spending 400 and something dollars on shoes is just not something I uh I like to do often. You know what I'm saying? I really don't do that at all unless it's a or it's orders or something like that. But yeah, man. Oh, you out of focus, my boy. But yeah, um, I just love that black and white, man. I really like the little gold on there too, bro. It, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It it matches the uh it matches the top part or whatnot. So the gold, I don't mind it. Um, the back part, it, it's the back part. I don't mind it. The bottom, I mean, I know some people were complaining about, you know, the the yellow or whatever. I mean, it, it, you got to take what you can get with Jordan brand, man. They, they going to play with you. They going to toy with you. You feel me? <laughs> they toy with your emotions. Just like them cherries, the cherry 12s. I love those too, but, you know, they keep on talking about they going to release. They going to release, and they never release. You feel me? So, I'm just going to take what I can get. This is my number two pick, man. I know a lot of y'all might be like, bro, you tripping or whatever, but it's what I like, you know what I'm saying? I haven't gotten a chance to wear, wear these just yet. You know, I'm still trying to get my fit together on how I'm gonna pop out on these guys. But you know, like I told y'all, I'm gonna I'm actually show you. I'm gonna start showing y'all how it gets down. You know what I'm saying? So, Jordan 12, slick taxis, they more like a Uber. You know what I'm saying? They ain't like, they. Yeah, there we go, the, the, the Jordan 12 Ubers. You feel me? I ain't no taxi to them, but they Uber. You feel me? <laughs> All right, for my last shoe, man, what's crazy is it's the last shoe that I bought in 2021. Awesome. <laughs> I saw these shoes, and at first I was like, they hard. They hard for real, you know what I'm saying? But then when I got them in person, it, it changed everything. Cause me and my dog got them. Shout out my boy Eddie. You know what I'm saying? Everyday Negroes. I'll leave a link in the description. That my dog, my brother fell. But we both got them and he got his pair in early. Or then mine because I was in Nashville. So he, I don't know. He got his and mine was in Memphis. So, but I just like everything about this shoe from the box presentation. You know what I'm saying? They making you feel like, okay, I'm spending my money on something. You feel me? And just like the materials, all this kind of stuff. So, if you know the box, you already know what they are. Bam. A lot of people not really, that's why I told y'all, I'm not in like the hype and all that kind of stuff. I really don't care. If that if the shoe is fresh to me, I want it, I like it. I don't care nothing about who wore it or who like them and how much they worth. If it's a fresh shoe, it's a fresh shoe. So bam, yes sir, yes sir. Let me turn y'all down just a little bit. But man, the colors on here are crazy. I love the materials. Um, This is a sale, it's not white. I know it looks white on camera. This is a sale, you know what I'm saying? Like that off-white look. And then I swapped the laces out for the off-white. I didn't use the off-white laces that came with because they kinda, I don't know, I didn't like the shape of them. So I got some laces from Lace Lab. And I went on and threw them in there. Um, <coughs> ah, 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 ah. 
But yeah, and then you, as you can see, oh, brother, I've already duck walked in them once. I should have took a picture. Maybe I might double back on the fit and actually take the picture and post that junk. I don't know. But I, I love these shoes, bro. Like, they, they so crazy to me. I know the resale ain't crazy. People ain't talking about them at all. So, it's really cool. I feel like what's going to happen is later on, folks going to wake up and these shoes going to be four 500 like everything else. You know what I'm saying? So, if y'all want to cop these, they right around like two something right now. I feel like you can get them, you know, I know that's a lot of money still, $200 for a shoe is definitely a lot of money, so, but if you ha uh, have the means to do it, I would cop them, man, and, and maybe sit on them, or if you like me, you gonna wear them, you feel me, that's what I do, I, I get stripped, you feel me, I, I, I really like these shoes, man. Uh, I think I like the the cream lace setup better. The reason, I, I and I love the shoe strings that came up in them, like these joints. I love these, but with my fit, because like the thing is about me, I need the fit to be perfect. So I had a like a coral, you know what I'm saying? Peaches. It was the same exact kind of color of this peach or whatever this is. I had a beanie that I wanted to wear with the junk, but can't find it, all that kind of stuff. So I would have to buy another one. That's the reason why I took the laces out and I went with another fit. You feel me? It, the fit was still tough, but it was more subtle. The other one was finna be. Oh, oh, girl, who with that? It was gonna be one of those, you feel me? So, uh, I mean, I like the laces. I'm gonna throw these back in there when I finally find my coral beanie or when uh, I buy another one or whatnot. But these are my number one shoe. My favorite shoe that I caught. Through. Hold on, let me, let me focus y'all up. My, uh, my favorite shoe I caught during 2021 man these are duck walkable so those are my top 10 pickups for the year of 2021 man i just want to say i appreciate y'all so much for rocking with me staying with me everybody all my dogs you know what i'm saying it's so many of them. i don't want to name no names because i don't want to forget nobody it's so many of y'all that support me i love y'all man y'all and i i don't just call y'all squad because you know what i'm saying i want views and all that kind of stuff now nah, but y'all y'all support me for real and uh i really never thought <clears throat> oh it sound like i'm gonna cry didn't it <laughs> i never thought that people could like really care about you like that you know what i'm saying just by watching you on youtube or something like that but like genuinely y'all folks really care about me and i i show that love right back man for real i appreciate y'all you know what i'm saying this ain't just you know what i'm saying some any kind of person just saying that you know how the youtubers be and stuff like that selling your dreams and just cap you know what i mean like i, I really appreciate y'all and i can't wait till i get to the point where i can actually meet y'all see y'all in person and hang with y'all that's why I'm, I'm this year i'm going so hard so I can be able to have that freedom so I won't have to customize shoes, you know what I'm saying, to maintain my my bills and all that kind of stuff. I can possibly just do YouTube, you know what I mean? That If that's a possibility, I really want to make that happen. So I'm going to go real hard for y'all. I'm going to keep on dropping consistently this year. I went through a, quite a bit of stuff, you know what I'm saying, towards the end of the year. You feel me? So it's all good, man. We Life goes on and... We just gotta stay positive and keep on moving forward. You feel me? So, like I said, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's been your boy. Make sure you subscribe. Join the squad. You hear me? We are gonna turn up this next year, boy. I'm trying to tell you, we going all the way. And if you hating, stick around. You might stop hating. You feel me? But I, 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 I'm gonna catch you. You hear me?